Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. I'm trying to get my seatbelt on. I'm having difficulty. In this wintry mix, miserable, wet, cold. Right now, it's literally raining and icing. Raining and ice. So, lucky me, I get to walk... Well, I looked at my weather app. It looks like 1 o'clock. It's supposed to be basically done. Freezing rain, though. Not good, not good. So, how's everybody doing today? Another rise and grind morning here in South Jersey. Not feeling it today, people. I'm not going to lie to you. Not feeling going out in this weather. It's not something I look forward to. Um... The older I get, the less I want to do it. This is the kind of weather you want to be inside. But the fact that I'm not eating right now, don't really want to be inside either. Because then, what do you want to do when you're sitting around watching TV? <laughs> Eat. So, yeah, I haven't had anything since 10.30 Super Bowl night. So, feeling good though. No coffee. I got, there is caffeine in here, but it's more of a healthier drink no dairy because that would that would screw up a fast but uh anyway just was looking at pro football talk and um fix the camera a little bit pro football talk released the numbers it the super bowl was the most watched super bowl ever which i kind of predicted just more outlets more people watching more access to the Super Bowl. And remember back in the day, it was just, okay, regular TV, then it went to cable, right? And if you didn't pay for cable, you didn't get it. Well, now there's streaming services, Paramount Plus, you know, ABC, I mean, there's all YouTube TV. There's a lot of different ways to stream the, uh, you know, stream the channel. So, multiple different channels. <laughs> like Mark said, it's going to be a a time where it's going to be just as much as cable because they're going to be very strategic in what they group together and how they group together and just to get the most money out of the public it's ridiculous but that being said we got some news i did uh bring it out yesterday um not only i did it on my lunchtime chat but i read where uh Per Ian Rappaport, the rap sheet, which he's the least of my favorite guys, but I'll give him credit where credit is due. Ian Rappaport is breaking that Dak Prescott and the Cowboys are working on a long-term deal as we speak. So, those of you who hate Dak, sorry. Those of you who realize that uh, you either got to do one of two things. Cut ties, literally cut, or trade and he would have to allow a trade post June cut and have a down year only to rebuild the following year hopefully get a couple decent picks for him or extend them out long term bring the number down and go from there if we really want to go all in wow it's really raining if we, we really want to go all in you need as much cap room as you can so that has to happen first if they really do want to go all in, meaning go get me a few players of free agency. Don't have to be the best players, but it has to be the first wave of free agency. I need a couple players. I just do. We can wait on Derrick Henry if he's probably not going to be in a rush, or he might sign somewhere. Who knows? He's a luxury item. I I can. I consider a Derrick Henry a luxury item, but if he really wants to come to Dallas, then uh, it, it'll probably happen. I still say we draft one, you know, but um, more importantly, we need D-lineman and linebacker. So they're working on a deal with Dak, and um, that's good. In my opinion, I mean, realistically, that's good. So um, I'm seeing reports out there and I called it, it's not going to happen. But I'm seeing 
the questions are being brought up. Does Kyle Shanahan have to leave San Francisco? Or, I mean, I ask that because you get to the Super Bowl twice and lose. You have the blunders that you've had. Hell of a coach. He is a good coach as far as scheme. But there's something going on. He can't get over the hump. And to not to know the rules. Come on, man. That's your job, Kyle. That's your job, my man. You need to learn to you know the rules of overtime. So I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Like I said yesterday, the Niners are favored to win the Super Bowl next year already. Again, that's based on talent. I mean, they should have won one already. Again, Kyle Shanahan. Say what you want. You guys want to blame McCarthy. Right? Or Dak Prescott. I mean, who are we blaming? Defense? So, I don't think Kyle's going anywhere, but, man, that was a kick in the gut. To me, that one was like last year where I thought the Eagles should have won. That was their opportunity to win one. So, Brock Purdy, you may not get there again, my man. It's not easy to get back to the Super Bowl. If you get back to the Super Bowl and lose, you normally don't go back the following year. So, um, very, very interesting. Uh, Mike Zimmer is official. I don't know why last night I was on Sports Junkies live stream. And people were saying, it's not official. So I, 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 heard, I heard it from Brian Broaddus' mouth. And I saw the release. Yes, it's official. Get at Whoever was saying that, get out of your cave. Turn on your TV. It's official. I don't know the details. I don't know the details of it. But it's official. So, I would like to know what the holdup was. And they had to take a stupid Rex Ryan report to get it done. Come on. Playing these games already? So, um... So, yeah, we shall know. We're less than, uh, what, about two weeks in the Combine? So, we're going to jump right into the draft. Uh, every night I'm going to start looking at players, so I'll have a working knowledge of the names and everything. So, but uh, I will be doing my 2 o'clock live stream today, as always, live from the mail truck, taking all your questions. Make sure you stop by, put your notifications on. I know Lottie has come in like five minutes into it or something. Put your notification bell on. And you'll be notified as soon as I hit that live button. Sometimes I'm a couple minutes late. You know, got to give the mailman a break a little bit. So. But yeah, I really think that, um, I mean, it's like the Eagles last year. I thought the Eagles should have won. Um. I thought the Niners should have won this year. And they were in position to win. Um, but, am I not giving Patrick Mahomes enough credit? Were the Eagles not the better team last year? Were the Niners not the better team this year? I think they were the better team, in my opinion. Better team. But the best player on the field is Patrick Mahomes. So, my question to everybody is, to ultimately win a Super Bowl, do you have to have the better team or the better quarterback? You know, it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic. If you're, because if you're telling me to pick a team, I'm picking the Niners all day, every day. Straight up. Against Kansas City. Because it's a team game, right? I think team game gets you to the game, but I think once you're in the game, there's a few rare players that um that make a difference uh, and you know Tom Brady being one of them and I think Patrick Mahomes, uh, Patrick Mahomes is the next one there's not many of them I mean, I've named two guys I'm sure we can go back and analyze put in the comments who you thought was that a quarterback other than the two I named who's that guy to where once he's in a Super Bowl you're in trouble I'm trying to think I mean, Aikman, he never lost one, right? But I would honestly say Aikman, it was about the offensive line, Emmett Smith running the ball, right? Um, who else would it be? Joe Montana? Joe Montana? 
Okay, Joe Montana gets in the Super Bowl, you're in trouble. I'm sorry, I gave up on your answers. But anyway, list some quarterbacks that you think if they got to the Super Bowl, the other team would be in trouble because they're clutch. So I won't answer anymore because I'll leave some for you guys and gals. But man, the traffic is ridiculous here. I mean, stay home, people. Stay home. I have to be out in this crap. But uh, yeah, so really can't wait to. Uh, I think the draft they said is fifty. Hold me to it. Fifty-five days away. Fifty-seven days away. So draft is coming hot and heavy. So um, we'll be there in Detroit. Me, Mark, prime time, and the chef David Wiley. Um, it'll be fun, um, but there's a lot that needs to take place. I'll be curious to see what our division rivals do. A Ken Norton Jr. just signed. Ken Norton Jr. just signed with the Washington Left Hand Up Commanders. I'm liking it. I'm really liking their coaching staff. Uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be the defensive coordinator or if Joe Witt's the defensive coordinator or if he's a linebackers coach. But he's signing with Washington. How dare you, Ken Norton Jr.? You are a cowboy now. It is what it is, right? He has to take a job. So it'll be interesting to see when free agency does start who the commanders are going to go after. They got some money. How many cowboys he steals? See, I already told you, I don't want that many cowboys brought back. Out of the 16 free agents, maybe bring five or six back. So, that's where I'm at. So, it'll be inter interesting to see what the Eagles do in free agency. Giants are kind of an afterthought at this point. You know? So, I think, the, I think the commanders have all the hype. But that could soon change after free agency. It could swing to the Eagles. Eagles are normally big players in free agency. And trades, for that matter. They got the picks to do it. Uh, Dallas, not so much. So we're getting into the frustrating, the frustration part of the season for the Cowboy fans to sit around and watch everybody get these names that, that we wish we could get. Dow, uh, get these little shiny little presents that we wish we could get under our tree that other teams are going to get under their tree. But we were told they're going all in. We'll be here for it all, people. We'll be here for it all. So, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning. Got him. Whew. But, all right, everybody, I'm pulling up to my stop here. Don't forget, 2 o'clock Eastern. Hopefully, we got some more news to talk about. If not, I'll just take your questions. Uh, game time, Brian, is uh, Audi 5000. Peace.